Well, there are three big questions. Uh, dealing with the debt, um, I am of the opinion that um, obviously money that we're, we're borrowing to run the country and uh, to make up the balance uh, will obviously have to be paid back and we'll have to pay our interest on it. Um, but the money that's going to our Irish banks that the Europeans would like us to keep afloat now so that they can pay back to European banks, uh, I think is immoral, the whole notion of it. And I think if the ECB want the Irish banks propped up so that the 550 billion that's owed to foreign banks by the Irish banks, uh, I think if the ECB want them propped up for that reason, I think the ECB should pay for it. So we've got to go back and we need the new leaders of the country. It would be great if they actually had the courage to go and be strong with the Europeans rather than just not toe tied to the neoliberal agenda like Brian Ellenhan did in the last parliament. Well, um, at this stage, most people are aware of the fact that um, you're far more likely to get three months in jail for stealing a pair of shoes than for defrauding the public of millions of pounds or millions of euros. Um, there's little doubt that that's wrong and it's something that has to be addressed. Um, I think the whole lack of accountability and transparency in government, in public office and in business um, has led to a demise uh, in behaviour at this level and there's no doubt it has to be tackled. Uh, we've had numerous offers of uh, donations but I have refused them on the grounds that I am completely opposed to political donations for canvassing. Yes, so it's a uh, small and medium-sized business in Ireland is in an awful state and it's got, it has been hampered rather than helped by our government. And unfortunately, the banks that we've thrown money at uh, for two and a half years are not open uh, for the business community. And this is a huge problem. I mean, even Labour, uh, I mean, as long, along with Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil, have all uh, been happy enough uh, to look after the banks. And if Labour go into power with Fianna Gael, I'm afraid, we're not going to see any great moves against the banks. I mean, we have saved banking. We have saved banks that are of no benefit to the Irish people, to Irish business. It doesn't stack up. And we, we have the fear tactic being applied all the time. And I only heard it from Labour myself last night. Oh, if you let the banks fall, there'll be no money. There'll be no money in the cash machines. Uh, what about the deposits? Of course all deposits should have been guaranteed by the government, but we didn't have to guarantee all the bondholders. In, in the history of money, this is one of the few occasions where the bondholders are getting off scot-free, thanks to the neoliberal approach of uh, our last government. Um, I would not be allowed to stand in this election, as I said before. Uh, I would not have been allowed to register as a candidate if I didn't have a tax clearance cert. Now, some people from other parties, large parties, have been bad mouthing me on the doorstep and have been putting out stories. And it's um, not surprising, I suppose. This is the way they behave, and it's one of the reasons why I'm trying to get into politics, try to get into the door to change the way things are done in this country. I am not bankrupt. Of course, I held up my hand three years ago and I said I owed money and I've been as straight as I can and I've done my best to keep my business going. There is people that I owe money to. I owe money to banks, I owe money to some subcontractors and I'm doing my best to pay them and uh, if I'm trying my best to work through it. I don't expect to become bankrupt and I do expect uh, to pay my bills if I'm allowed to, to uh, remain in business. I'm doing my best and I am taking an honest approach.